Now I'm going to show you how to safely clean a burette and how to, uh, to clean our burettes ourselves. So we need to make sure that no water adheres the inside walls of the glass because we want to deliver a particular volume of water. So what we need to do is we need to obviously add some water, make sure your stop clock is closed, add some water to our burette, and then um, we are also going to use one of these. This is a burette brush. It's very long. I'm going to get the brush wet and I'm going to add a drop of liquid, of liquid soap onto the brush. If I can get a little drop out. Okay. Then I'm going to put the brush into my burette. I got lots of soap at the top there. And I'm going to, I, I need to scrub this really well. Okay, so I'm going to go up and down into the burette and make sure that I'm turning the brush so I get all the walls of the glass. I'm trying to make sure it's all nice and clean. Okay, all right, I'm going to hang this up for now. I'm going to make sure some of the soap gets through the tip. And then an easy way to clean this out is I'm going to turn this burette upside down and then I'm also going to open up the stopcock so that I don't form a vacuum so all the liquid would come out. Whoops. So that's what I'm going to do is I turn it and I open up the stopcock. Now you got to make sure you close it and we're going to rinse with tap water. We want to rinse all that soap out with tap water. So I'm going to get that totally filled. I'm going to turn this upside down and open up the stopcock. Okay. Do this several times until you get all the soap out of your burette. All right. I'm going to do one more rinse because I need to make sure I get the soap out of the tip also. So I'm going to run it through the tip. And then when I'm done with that, I'm going to turn it upside down and let it run out. Okay? All right. Now I want to rinse with some distilled water because the tap water has uh, ions in it that might affect our results. So I want to always just um, uh, do an, another rinse with distilled water. And so Take your distilled water. You don't need to fill it all the way up. Just fill it a little bit. So I have about like, you know, five milliliters in there. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to rinse the walls of the glass with my, and I'm, I'm having this over a waste beaker here, um, a walls of the glass, let it run through the tip and rinse it. Now that's the first rinse. You got to do a rinse with distilled water three times. Okay, do the same thing. I'm, I'm, the water is flowing down the walls of the glass here. I'm doing this over the sink, so if any spills out, it goes into the sink. If I'm not near a sink, I would have a waste beaker and have the open end of the burette over the waste beaker. More through the tip and rinse. All right. And then the last rinse. Okay. Okay. After the last rinse, I'm going to take a paper towel, dry the outside, and then I need to check my burette to see if I have any droplets on the inside. I don't care about the outside wall, but the inside wall of the glass. So I'm looking all the way down this burette to see if I have any water droplets. If I have water droplets adhering anywhere, I have to re-clean the burette. So as I'm looking down, I do not see any water droplets here. I see a few down here, but I don't care because that's not the graduations. I don't want any water droplets in any of the graduations. Now that I have a clean burette, I can um, get it ready to fill it up with my base.
Okay?